Hello YouTube, RHJF back in with another video and today's video is going to be about the Dungeoneering updates that just took place. I know they happened a couple of days ago, but there is some in more detail stuff that I wanted to talk about that I think some people kind of glossed over in their videos that I saw of this, including like Alcan and Scape Skill if you watch either of those. Their videos were pretty good, but there, I felt, were some things that were missed, and no, not shots fired or anything. Their videos were good, and just hit on the main points, but is there is something that I feel that they forgot that I feel really needs to be brought up, and that is pretty much why I'm making this video, but I'll go ahead and cover the whole update anyway, since I'm already doing half the update, might as well do the rest of it, and uh, just call it the Dungeoneering Update video. And so, enough with the uh, pre-roll stuff, let's get right on into it. So, as you guys know, this weekend and the last couple days have been bonus Dungeoneering tokens. So if you're not taking advantage of that and you want to get your Dungeoneering up, now is the time to do it. Get those bonus tokens during these next couple days. And uh, sinkholes have a bonus to them as well, so make sure you do your daily sinkholes, which is two a day. But the new things that were added, a new resource dungeon for level 90 Dungeoneering, and there are some Slayer assignments that are in there, as well as some other skilling-based stuff. So if you do any of that, like the gem mining, you can mine up to Dragonstones. If you do any of that, you could head over to that, but that's sort of a minor update to this so far. And I think what everyone is talking about is the new gear updates, and let's get right into those and let's see right here the scroll of demonheim gives you a 50 percent chance to earn five percent extra xp in dungeoneering so that would be pretty cool especially since there's no other thing to wield during dungeoneering you might as well have your scroll of demonheim and get that bonus exp and the scroll proficiency gives you a chance to retain planks while using the construction skill similar to the scroll of cleansing when you do herb lore it saves your herbs and secondaries when adding them to potions which is really good saves you a lot of money considering construction and herb lore are rather expensive and probably the most expensive skills in the game maybe other than prayer prayers up there too so that's definitely going to be helpful for someone who's trying to get their construction up in the scroll of Dexterity allows you to retain components while making armor in the crafting skill. Once again, great because crafting is up there in price as well, so saving those hides when you're making the dehyde bodies or whatever you're making uh, will definitely save you some money in the long run. And another thing here, the gold accumulator, which will automatically collect coin drops. Note that it will only pick up 1 million coins and will increase in price every time you have to rebuy it back up to 60,000 tokens on the third purchase and will remain 60,000 tokens every time after. Um, I've been thinking about this like the most effective ways to use it because it will get destroyed after 1 million coins so obviously don't take it bossing because if you're having to wait for your boss monster to respawn it's obviously not worth using at stuff like Bandos, Zamrax, Herodome, and stuff like that. The drop 20k drops quite often, but obviously you have a 2-3 to three minute wait or so for the boss monster to spawn back. It's obviously not worth using, but if you're doing Slayer, for instance, and you have, I don't know, some random tasks that drop 500 GP to 1.5k, that's definitely worth using because if you're killing 5 or 6 or 7 every minute, and you don't want to spend the time to pick up the 1k you can simply equip this item and it will pick them up and that would be a far better use for it um, the gem bags can now be upgraded to hold 60 gems and now include dragonstone that's really cool especially if you go to the new resource dungeon and you do the gem mining um, now you could include all of your gems into here and just have to bank less often with your gem bag and the bone crusher charming imp and herbicide are now pocket slot items which I believe is really really cool because when I cannoned dags for my 99 summoning and I got quite a bit of range and mage XP there too but that's besides the point when I did that I could only take 25 slots because I had to have my cannon obviously and then I had my charming imp and pots and everything so with the bone crusher 
and or not the bone crusher the charming imp in your pocket that just gives you another slot that you could put another overload or prayer potion or whatever you're going to need down there and just makes you stay there a little bit longer and i feel like that's a good update as well floor skipping is another new thing they have here if you're a high level player and you want to maximize your dungeon delving uh, you can skip floors now the thing about this floor skipping is Alkin showed they are really really expensive in the matter of tokens like the highest floors are like 60,000 tokens I think it was and the lowest ones are pretty cheap but obviously the most common skip ones are probably going to be 1 through 30 because those are the C1 rushes and everyone hates doing them and I see those as probably the ones most worth skipping but that definitely adds up if you're skipping 30 floors I think he said it was like 70k tokens to skip 1 through 30 which I don't really feel is worth it but if you hate your C1s that much go right on ahead and skip them and you might just get all your tokens back by doing the rest of your 30 through 60 well you'll definitely get that many tokens and then you just lose the 60 when you reset and then you can keep going that way but um I think that's it but the other thing that the main thing I wanted to talk about for this video and it's kind of partial to me because you guys know I'm in flip chat and the new dungeoneering necklaces came out and what they do is they require a Cerdoman's hiss murmur and or, and or whisper depending on which one you're making and then the item eats it I don't know you have to use the item on the dungeoneering item and then you will get the dungeoneering item sort of like if you guys play old school the abyssal tentacle or tentacle whip whichever it's called you need an abyssal whip to make it and then you get like 10,000 hits with the abyssal whip and then the tentacle ingests or eats or I don't know what the correct word here is but it like basically your whip disappears and then you need another whip to remake your kraken tentacle and what I wanted to say on this is this is a really really good idea for item sinks in the game because for instance as if you guys play old school at all you can see right now that whips are rising and that's because people are using their tentacles and whips are leaving the game and then they're having to rebuy whips and whips are just going up and up and uh, there's less and less whips in the game and if you guys knew anything about the price of the hiss murmur and whisper before the update the the hiss was 500k the murmur was around 1.2 1.3 mil and the whisper was less than 2.5 mil and now all of those items the hiss is hovering around 2 mil the murmur is around 3 mil and the whisper is hovering around 5 mil right now which is really cool and I'm not sure if the Dungeoneering reward will require you to re-add the item after so much time or whatever, but if it did, that would be even better for these necklaces. It would give them more street value and just uh, it would make Ceridoman more worth doing other than just camping for that hit. If you got a hiss, a, a hilt, not a hit, if you got the hiss, you wouldn't be like, oh great, I got the worst God Wars dungeon drop you can get. You'd be like, oh great, that's a mill, and it would totally make Ceridoman worth doing, and then uh, it'd give me uh, more motivation to do my Sarah series. Mm -hmm. But that is pretty much all I had for this video. If you guys did enjoy, if you could hit like, it helps me out a lot. Nine minute video, I think it might be one of my longest videos I've done in a long time. So uh, drop me a like for that. Subscribe if this is your first video for me. I will be covering more updates in the future. I'm on summer break now, I have a lot more time for videos and uh, planning on what videos I'm going to make throughout the week instead of getting home at 9 and be like, oh great, I have an hour to make a video, what can I kind of throw up? Now I have plenty of time throughout the day to throw up a video and uh, make sure it's edited properly and uh, all my mess ups are edited out, etc. So just drop a like and subscribe for that and uh, comment what you think on these Dungeoneering updates. I'd really like to know. Maybe we could have some back and forth in the comment section. And uh, with that being said, that's pretty much it for me guys. So as always, have a nice day.